Hey guys, hey guys, this is Vaughn, and welcome back to another episode on the Pixel League server. We are back with our Skelly Spawner. Uh, we found this, well, I think it was Cassanus who found it a couple episodes ago. It's kind of near my house, you told me about it, and I've been meaning to do something with it. I am not, like, a grinder smart guy, so, um... What, I, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a regular fall drop, but I thought, I was I started doing it off camera as you can see, I closed off the walls and I spaced out the room so that when I put down my water bucket, uh, the water will, the skeletons ideally will spawn and then, you know, they'll fall in here and then they'll be pushed down this hole. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to dig 22 blocks down so that when they drop, they will have one, one hit kills and I can just punch them and they will drop their delicious body parts. Uh, I might make it so that it's, uh, that I can kill or that I can XP, but I'll probably just leave it as an XP farm because XP is relatively hard to get on this server and having an XP farm would be kind of useful. Uh, I also made a bow. The other day I was, uh, the other day I was looking for diamonds and string and I, I went into, uh, a, a, what are those things called? Mineshaft? And there was cave spider spawner there, and I didn't have a bow. So I had to, like, run up to him and kill them with my sword. And so I've made a bow, but I don't have any arrows for it yet. Ideally, I will get arrows and more bows from this guy as well. So uh, I'm not going to make you guys watch this. It's pretty basic, boring stuff. I'm just going to show you that I'm doing it, and I will, I guess, show it to you once it's done. I think I'm done. I haven't actually tested it yet, but I think skeletons are spawning in there they should be dropping down and then i've got the ladder here to collect the goods i may at some point move this ladder so that it connects to this one because right now you come down and you have to walk not a big deal it's like two seconds but anyway let's see if this works the only thing that might not work is i don't know if the fall drop is the right level so they're definitely collecting are they one hit kills so they're not so they're not one hit kills does that mean okay so I might drop this one lower and see if that fixes it. Not a big deal, but uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. Not so bad. Uh, and then I do have a chest down here with some random crap that I, like, there was a, a chest that I hadn't finished emptying out, I guess, at one point. Oh, I've already got a bow. Uh, so I'm going to clean all this out at some point, add some more chests. Let's make the fall drop one lower and see if that fixes fixes the hit kill problem a little jiggery pokery later and i think i've got it all figured out i'm pretty happy with this i know it is the most basic and stupid fall drop system but uh occasionally they die but for the most part they're one shot hit hits and they die so you can get xp and you get bones and good things like that so look at that stack bones and a stack of and some of arrows so yay we're done basically uh, eventually, I will probably put some more chests down here so that I can easily stack bones and arrows. I don't intend to, like, overuse this, per se. Like, I don't have any need for tons and tons of stuff, but, like, I get so frustrated with having to wait. Why am I doing this? I have bags on me. Uh, you know, I just get so frustrated sometimes, like, trying to... I just want to enchant another pick, and I... There's no way to, like, go kill mobs normally because of the way that this mod has worked out. So you have to go and basically kill a bajillion Pokemon, which is fine. It's just really, really slow. So this is just going to... It's a, a natural way oops, in game to increase my ability to kill stuff. So I'm going to get to level 30. We'll go back home. We're going to enchant. I know you guys said to enchant a pick at level 22, and I'm not going to do it because I'm almost to level 30. Uh, next pick, I guess, we'll enchant at level 22 to see if we can get Silk Touch, assuming that we don't get it this time. Home, sweet home. And I've got some potatoes cooking because I'm hungry. Let's make ourselves... Uh, we don't have a lot of rubies. Let's make a Peridot pick. Peridot is my birthstone. Do you know what that means? It means that my birthday is coming up in just a couple days. Actually, August 8th is my birthday, and I'm thinking maybe I'll live stream on that day uh, just to, you know, do something. I think it'd be kind of fun. I need a fundraise to go to Minecon, so th that could be part of the thing as well. Come on, Silk Touch! Wow! Unbreaking 3 only. That is a pretty terrible pick. Put that in there, but at least now I don't feel so bad because I've got 
uh, the ability to get more levels more easily. It is raining out. Uh, so speaking of fundraising for the potential of Minecon. So Minecon is definitely going to be in Europe this year. They have not announced yet where in Europe. But in any event, I live in California. So getting to Europe is going to be at least $1,000. Uh, I'm pretty sure that I can swing it either way. But it would be a 100 times easier if I could... Uh, get a little bit of fundraising in. Uh, if I could fundraise the cost of the plane ticket, I could have a much better time uh, and just not stress as much. So, to that end, one, I'm going to have the live stream on probably my birthday. I don't know how long it'll be. I'm, I'm thinking maybe 12 hours, but at the same time, like, I want to go out on my birthday as well. So I don't, I don't know for sure, but maybe. Like, maybe midnight to noon or something would be a good time to do it. I don't know. Uh, I will. I will decide and see if I can get some guests and stuff, uh, and and make a video about it, and I'll post it to the, to the channel. It probably will not be all on Pixel League. I'll probably play on Play Minecraft, so you guys could come and join me and play with me there. Uh, I might do some single player stuff. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Uh, might be building games. Might be replica. I don't know. We'll we'll figure it out at some point. But that would be a fun way to do it, uh, and then you guys could donate to that if you wanted to. And then there's also, well, yesterday, our last episode, we saw uh, Ruben and Sushi both had those statue mods. So I wanted to show you how to make those. They're pretty cool. Uh, and I think that they're doing it in a way that if you donate, uh, I, I honestly don't know. Maybe you guys who watch will know. But this is what, what I think it is, is if you donate, you get your statue in the mod. And I think that's a really kind of cool way to, like show you guys how the how the mods work kind of introduce you to put your character in the game and then also you know i, I get money <laughs> which is always nice so i'm trying to think where i want to put it um you know what we'll just put it right here uh, i'm gonna make me because why not so this is the hammer you guys just saw me make this is a specific type of hammer for this mod uh oh i also need this is gonna make a black and white one in order to make a color one, you need different colored dye. I don't have any green dye, do I? We're going to have to get a cactus from the... Okay, well, that can be a little journey that we do. But you need red dye, blue dye, and green dye. And you have to get green dye from a cactus. But anyway, let me just show you quickly how you make it. So the first thing is you, you put two blocks together. You get this hammer and you right-click on it. And it brings up this page and it says player name. So my player name, of course, is just Fawn. And you can either make it look just like that, or you can randomize it so that they're doing different crazy poses, which I think is kind of fun. Uh, and I think you can, yeah, you can kind of adjust these poses as well so that they're not totally crazy. You know, like, crazy-ish, but, you know, still a little bit more normal, I guess. So there it is. Sculpt that. Boom! Suddenly, there I am. Just flawed. That's pretty cool, I think, right? I mean, wouldn't you want you wouldn't wouldn't you want your name to be here and like have like a little statue of you? And now let's quickly go over to spawn and get ourselves a cactus so that I can show you how to make them in color. Green dye is cooked, and let me show you quickly how to make the palette. Boom, boom, boom. Wait, that's not it. Uh oh, these two are switched. I think. Yep. So it's a red. You can see on the palette it shows red, green, blue. Uh, you take the palette. And you go outside. Now, I did do this, and then I accidentally was not recording when I showed it off, so I had to remake the statue, so that's why the, sh the body is in a slightly different position. But then you hold shift, and you click it with the palette, and the palette gets consumed, and suddenly, magically, you're in color. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, I am not going to leave this here, but I think that's really cool. Uh, and, and it's kind of neat that you can see the name tag as well. Uh, it does consume the, the the palette, so you have to have a pretty decent selection of lapis and cactus and red flowers, red dye. Not not terrible, though, uh, but it does make it a little bit expensive. And then, of course, they had theirs set up on platforms with little signs and stuff. I think that's pretty cool. I think that's a neat way to promote both, you know, my... Like, if you had a channel, that would be a cool way to promote your channel, plus just a cool way for you to support me. 
Uh, I am planning on going to MineCon this year, which is in L Paris, this, this, or Paris, I don't know why I said Paris, uh, Europe. We don't know exactly where it's going to be yet. I think it's going to be in London, but they have not actually officially announced that. Either way, I live in California, so Europe anywhere is, uh, is about $1,000, $1,200 plane ticket. So I think one of the only ways that I'm going to be able to get to go is if I do a little bit of fundraising for it. Uh, and I think that those little statues would be a kind of a cool way to do fundraising uh, for it. So, for instance, if you donated $20 via my PayPal link or my pa Patreon, maybe I could put, like, your little statue, your little Minecraft character, uh, maybe we could build, like, a little place for that. Do you think that that would be a kind of a cool thing to do? Is that something that you guys would be willing to, to donate towards? I mean, I feel like a complete jerk taking money, you know? just to go to a convention and stuff, but at the same time, I know a lot of you are going or want to see me go and take videos and, and stuff or meet me while you're there, and if, like, a $20 donation is all it takes on your part to get me there, I feel like, me, you know, oh, there's a boss right there, is, uh, is not a bad, a bad, not a bad trade-off. Plus, you know, it's not like I'm gonna hold back anything. It's like, I'm gonna probably go no matter what. It's just... Depends on how much credit card debt I'm going to take. And I would much rather be able to... That's kind of creepy, though, seeing those statues there. It would be a lot less uh, strain on my part. You know, a lot less depression, actually, on my part. Uh, if I could partially cover some of the, the costs of the plane ticket via donations. So I think that that could be kind of kind of fun. Uh, so, yeah. If, if you want to do that, you know, you, there's a link in my description... So you could donate either PayPal, one-time lump, $20, or through my Patreon, $20. Maybe I'll even add that as a perk uh, in my Patreon. If you donate 20 bucks, uh, you can get your name done like this. So make sure that if you do donate, uh, leave leave your Minecraft name so that I know it's you, or so that I can, I can do it, I can add it, and then we'll build like a little location. Maybe... Maybe on the, the ice area or something. I'll, I'll find something suitably awesome of a cool place to put you guys. Some place that I visit frequently. I mean, it could even be this place. I don't know. It's just there's not a lot of room. Although, like, Sushi and Ruben both have it kind of, like, lined up in rows. And I kind of like it more random like this. Don't you think it would be cooler to just have, like, people just kind of scattered everywhere? And, like, you just wander upon... Ah, oh, there's a guy in the forest or something. I don't know. Uh, you could even... I mean, I guess... For different amounts of money, I could do different amounts of things. Plus, like, you can see this, they've got ways that you can do armor. So, like, if somebody donated, like, a ridiculous amount of money, I could put, like, diamond armor on them, or gold armor on them, or whatever. Like, whatever, kind of, like, you donated. Like, if you suggested, like, if you donated a hundred bucks and you wanted diamond armor, I would totally make you diamond armor. So, that's kind of cool. You know, like, whatever you wanted. Diamond armor, put you at spawn, I don't know. I think that there's cool potential for that, uh, to both help you out and help me out and kind of have, like, a fun little, uh, exchange between the two of us, uh, and definitely, you know, go into Minecon. So let's get rid of me. I don't, I don't need to see me. Uh, it doesn't give you the, the blocks back. I guess that makes sense. So yeah, that, that's a pretty cool feature that I'm looking forward to playing with, uh, and let's, let's go see what else we can do this episode. Uh, I really want to find... A place to build a little house or something in a desert. I don't think it's going to be the desert at spawn, though. Let's let's fly around and see what we can find a cool location. After traveling pretty far and wide, I've decided that pretty much there's nothing anywhere closer to spawn that is as suitable as this desert. So uh, I'm just going to build something small right here. Uh, I want to be near spawn, right? So. Why not just build in the desert that's right by spawn? There's this little mountain right here. Tiny. It's a tiny little mountain, but I think if I flatten the top off, there'll be just enough room to build something kind of interesting. Some sort of little... Maybe even a sandcastle would be kind of fun. Not really sure what, but I think... I think it's a good place to build. some Because I want to have something at spawn. Uh, let's take one more layer off. And this will be a good, a good location. We'll have a great view of Cassanus's house, we've got a great view of the ship, and more importantly, we've got a great view of pretty much the entire desert, which is great because it'll be great to look for shinies, and it'll also be great to look for Groudon. Uh, a couple of you were like, why didn't you use your Master Ball? 
immediately on the mold trees because it's got a 100% capture rate. And the reason I didn't do it is because I felt like, I don't know why, but I felt like using the Master Ball on the Legendary Bird was kind of a waste. That I would rather use the Master Ball on harder to catch in my mind uh, legendaries like the Groudon, the Mew, um, Rayquaza, like, oh man, trying to trying to get a Rayquaza with a regular ball just seems like a nightmare to me. So, in retrospect, yeah, I should have probably used the the Master Ball on the Moltres, but since I only have one Master Ball, I kind of thought, oh well, I'll just use a, I'll just use a bunch of regular balls and get them that way. I did not know that there was a move called Struggle that he would be able to kill himself with. Uh, like like I've said before, I'm very new to Pokemon, so there's lots of it lots of it that I don't understand or don't know, and that is definitely one aspect of the game that I was unfamiliar with, and I learned it the hard way, and that's fine. Uh, it's, you know, it's, it's tiresome to make another orb, or fill it up, but it's not the end of the world. I've, I'll, I'll, I'll get there eventually, you know? Uh, I did notice, though, and a couple of you told me that the orbs do not fill twice, two at the same time. So I thought that they did, but apparently it does not. So I've since put away the uh, fire orb, and I've got the static souls orb out again. Uh, I still have not found a static souls uh, shrine, though, so I'm not quite sure how that's going to work out. But hopefully we'll find something soon. So anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a little bit of terraforming on this little mountain here to kind of give us a nice platform. I don't want to destroy the the shape of it too much, but I do want to make sure that there's enough for me to build some on it. And uh, hopefully we'll get to build just... We don't have a whole lot of time left in this episode, so I want to build something quick, and then next episode we can focus on it a little bit more. Well, that's not something you see every day. Look, there's a Hypno boss here and a Drowsy boss there. Can we get both of them? I don't know. Let's find out. A lot of times you're like, oh, you guys, you can't believe you lost the other boss. It's not usually that I lose the other boss, per se. It's that the other one uh, despawns before I... Oh, it failed. Uh, before I get it... Get the first one killed. It's almost always the case when I see two bosses spawn. But it looks like we might, might... Okay, got that one. Cool. And see the other one's gone. Oh, no, wait, no, wait, no. Oh, no, that's not him. Ah, the other one's gone. That's what always happens. It's almost like the game knows. It's like, as soon as you get one, the other one despawns. I actually did. I was flying around earlier looking for a place, and I saw two Drafferig bosses, like, spawn right next... Ooh, Flamethrow and Thunder. Those are pretty good. The two Drafferig bosses spawned right next to each other, and I managed to kill both of them and get drops from both of them. Uh, I didn't do it on camera just because I... Didn't want to waste time doing that, but believe me, it happened. It was true. <sighs> so much for the drowsy boss, though. I mean, what usually happens is I don't notice the bosses immediately. But here's what I've started building. Uh, I've just laid out a platform exactly the width of the thing, and then I'm going to make it one wider just to give myself a little bit more space. I'm not going to show you too much of this on camera because I think it's going to be kind of boring, but one of the things that I wanted to show you guys was that uh, I got some, I got a bunch of red wool from a Poke Center, and there's a kind of cool carpet that I think you can make, and so I wanted to show you guys that. It's red wool, yeah, this stuff. So I think that this might be a really cool floor pattern. What do you guys think of that? A little hard to see without any torches. There you go. Does that not look like a Vaughn colored floor? And I think it, yeah, it'll just expand as you add to it. I wanted to make something. I don't want it to look completely desert. Like, I don't think I'm gonna make it all out of sandstone. I might. I might make it out of sandstone. I don't know yet. Uh, there's a lot of cool designs that you can do with sandstone and the chisel tool. The, and you guys have seen that before, which is what I used on the the bricks here. But I think. This floor pattern is going to be the winner. I'm really kind of dang... It kind of almost looks Persian or something, right? I mean, I guess that's probably the, the idea behind it is that it's a Persian rug. So, I think 
it's kind of interesting the way that the carpet changes when you put a carpet block on top of it. Will it do the same thing if I... Okay, so it's only if I put a carpet block on top that it kind of has that wrap around. So I think this is going to be cool. Um, and then, let's see, did I bring any sandstone with me? I may not have brought any sandstone with me. I've got a little bit back at home. I'm probably, if I want to make it out of sandstone, I'm probably going to have to... Yeah, I, didn't, I don't think I brought any with me. I'm going to have to probably mine it out myself, which is not a bad a bad thing. I mean, there's plenty of it, like, right here. I could just use this. Just hollow out this area. Uh, and let me just show you some of the cool... So you use this chisel tool, and you stick your sandstone in there, and look at all these cool options that you can get. So you can get pillars, which I think... I think that these are going to probably be the winners. Like, along the sides here. I really need to... <laughs> and, and technically, I don't even think these need to be... Uh, these blocks they probably do not necessarily need to be carpenter blocks. I, th I could probably just use it without carpenter blocks. Uh, so, I've got lots of, of stuff to decide. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. Yeah, I don't think these... Yeah, these don't need to be carpenter blocks. So, I might take them off. I don't know. But, I'm going to play with it. Uh, definitely got lots of ideas. I think it's going to be fun, though some torches here uh it's not gonna be too big maybe this will be like the interior of here could be all uh statues of you guys if that sounds like interest to you i'm also gonna do a live stream i don't know if i mentioned this uh i'm gonna do a live stream on my birthday which is august 8th i don't know how long it's gonna be uh, i'm thinking maybe eight hours uh and i think It'll have all sorts of cool stuff in it. Like, I'm thinking I'm going to have mini games and, like, a plot server and just all sorts of cool stuff that, for a small donation, you guys could join for the day or for the eight-hour live stream and play with me and play with other uh, members of my, my members, mem other friends of mine. Uh, and then all of that money that would be donated to me getting to MineCon and then also... Uh, I might have like prizes so like if I end up doing the plot server uh, there would be like maybe a, I, don't, I would have like a theme like build blah 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 and then whoever wins the theme uh, would probably get some sort of prize like uh, patron on play mine crack or free game or I don't know like if I design if it's like design me a house then maybe I will rebuild your house on this server or something I don't know I haven't decided yet but if you have any suggestions for things that you would like to see like what would make you want to participate in donate money to play with me or something let me know leave a comment and of course whatever i decide i will put out a video specifically about it either way the, the live stream is definitely going to happen on august 8th friday august 8th so prepare for it i've talked to beef and i think he will show up for some of it and i'm going to try to talk to some of my other friends and see if they'll show up for an hour or two and that way i'm not doing it all by myself anyway that is going to be it for this episode. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. It was kind of a weird episode, but I had fun. Uh, and, uh, yeah, like I said, the link below in my description, you can see my Patreon and my PayPal link. And feel free to make a donation, and you can maybe be the first statue in this house on this server. Thank you guys, as always, for watching. My name is Vaughn, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye! <laughs>